So is this the 100 trading video that you're watching on YouTube and somehow you're still struggling to turn a profit when it comes to trading? Now, if that's you, then you want to watch this video because in today's video, I want to show you how to get started with systems trading and why this might be your solution. If you've been watching a lot of Forex videos on YouTube, you've been trying a different discretionary trading strategies and none of them seems to be working for you and your equity is just going down, down and down. I know that's a very bold claim, but stick with me, okay? So this is what I'll be covering today. Uh, I'd like to talk about the two main types of trading. Uh, the first one is probably what you're already doing, which is discretionary. And the second one is what I call uh, systematic. Okay, I just run you through uh, what each of these are. Then I want to discuss about why most traders fail. Okay, why, why is it that uh, you watch maybe uh, somebody's forex video on youtube maybe you pay a guru to learn from him or it could even be our own forex videos right our strategies uh, in our channel we have a lot of videos about swing trading day trading a ton of uh, strategies why is it that you still fail even though uh these strategies work okay if you are part of our telegram channel you will also know that uh, our signals work but why is it that you still fail okay so i want to address that and why if that is you you might want to consider systematic trading because uh, there are certain advantages of systematic trading okay but of course uh, there are also deep difficulties when it comes to systematic trading it's not all uh, roses okay there are difficulties there are setbacks there are drawbacks of using a systematic trading strategy so uh, but i just want to explain that to you and lastly if you stick to the end i want to show you a step-by-step -step guide uh, to get started okay because in our channel we always want to give you actionable uh, practical steps okay we do not just want to bombard you with theory and theory and leave you without anything to do okay so the best way to benefit from this video is to first understand write some notes and make sure you apply it okay make sure you apply the four step process uh, which i will cover at the end of this video okay by the way if you are new to our channel right thanks for watching right appreciate you uh, coming here to watch our videos okay we are on a mission to impact hundred thousand traders and we will really appreciate if you can just hit the subscribe button hit the like button right help us to grow as a channel because we really want to help you and we are really up to help uh, other struggling traders like you okay we also have a free day trading guide over here you can see uh, the links in the description so if you have not downloaded it uh, just download there is no catch no credit card nothing okay it's free okay we're here to serve you so right make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell icon as well so what are the two main types of uh, trading okay in trading there's only two main types you have the discretionary and you have the systematic so what does discretionary mean now discretionary means that there is no fixed set of rules meaning that uh you kind of just depend on uh, your view of the market and it relies heavily on the experience of a trader so needless to say right the experience of the trader is very important so what happens is that a lot of new traders who do not have experience they try discretionary trading and they lose money okay i'll talk about more about this uh in the next slide but in this slide, I just want to show you that uh, two people can use the same strategy, okay? It could be even our strategy, okay? In our Forex course, which is free, okay? The link is in the description. It's free. You can use the same exact uh, discretionary trading strategy as us, and you may come to a different conclusion. So the way to make money when it comes to discretionary trading is, is very simple. You just want to be able to cut losses fast and write winners. You are not focused on a fixed set of rules which you do day in and day out. Of course, you have a general guideline, but they are not set in stone. Now, what I want to tell you a quick story about an angry student. This is a real story that happened to us. Okay, if that student is watching, I hope you're not offended by it. Just trying to bring this out as a case study. Okay, so we had an angry student who write in to us and uh, he actually accused us of saying that uh, we are be booking our students, meaning that uh, we are betting against our students and we are trying to profit from the losses of our students. And that's quite common in this industry. There are a lot of traders or uh, educators out there who, you know, they try to uh, they try to profit off your losses. Basically, they give you wrong trades or they tell you to do the wrong thing and then they, they trade against you. So if they tell you to buy euro dollar, they're actually selling euro dollar. So what happened was that in the H4 time frame, uh, it was this trade called euro pound. Okay, I, I remember it very clearly because uh, we had a big discussion with uh, the team. So if I recall correctly, the euro pound, uh, the H4 time frame, uh, our signal was to buy. And this student, uh, he was looking at the M15, 
the same currency pair, uh, still euro pound, and he saw a sell. So he wrote in an angry email to us saying that, hey, look, why are you guys doing this? Why are you guys trying to profit off my losses? You send in your Telegram group channel to buy, but I see using your same exact strategy is a sell. Why are you trying to profit off my losses? And he was really angry. So uh, we just took the time to explain to him this. Okay, this is a discretionary trading strategy. And that is why discretionary trading can be very difficult because it, there is no fixed answer. Okay, two traders can use the same trading strategy, but they have a different conclusion of the manner. Matter. So for example, in our case, we saw that Euro Pound was a buy and he saw that in the M15, Euro Pound is a sell. Now, does it mean that I'm correct or rather we are correct and he's wrong? No, it, it doesn't mean that. It just means that uh, it is different because he's looking at a different time frame and he might be applying in a different manner. Okay, so this is why discretionary is very difficult because it requires on, on the experience of the trader. Now, systematic on the other hand, it's a trading style which you have a fixed set of rules that can be backtested and verified. Uh, historically, meaning that you can look at the uh, past results or you can even forward test it to test whether uh, this works. It is a fixed set of rules. So that means that no matter who uses the system, the conclusion is always the same. Okay, If you ask your kid, you know, your, your, your child, your son, your daughter, uh, is this a buy? As a kid, he should be able to tell you that it is a buy as well. So it's always the same. No matter who sees it, if your scenario is being met, if the market is showing um, the criteria line up, then it's a buy. So I, I'm written over here, if it's a buy for person A, then it is also buy for person B. And if person C comes in, person D, their conclusion is all the same. So hopefully you can see a systematic might be your solution because number one, you're able to backtest it. Number two, it's verified historically. And number three, the conclusion is always the same. There is no subjectivity involved. Okay? So this is why uh, this might be your solution. But again, systematic trading is not for everyone because it requires a lot of work. You need to do a lot of testing. You need to do a lot of tweaking. It, it is not as straightforward as uh, discretionary trading. And you know, some people, they just cannot do the same thing every single day. They cannot just trade like a robot or without any you know, emotions. They, they are more suited for discretionary. So depending on your training psychology, uh, uh, it really depends whether uh, you want to change over to the systematic. But if you are still struggling as a trader, uh, my advice would be to give systematic a try. Okay, uh, it could be uh, building your own system or it could be investing in an algo like ours or you know some other algo rhythms out there. But make sure you do your check on uh, you know the person or the um, the fund manager that you're putting the money with, okay? I have a lot of videos about this as well. You know, how do you tell if an algo is profitable? So check that out, okay? Make sure you, you know, watch our other videos just in case uh, you want to do uh, all these kind of things. Now, I want to answer why most traders fail at discretionary trading, okay? In fact, earlier on, I already mentioned it briefly, okay? I mentioned that uh, discretionary trading heavily relies on experience and is highly subjective. So what happens is that a lot of traders, uh, especially new traders, they watch a lot of videos such as this, or you know our 100 over Forex videos, okay, we have a lot of videos, or you know some other guy, doesn't matter. It could even be something that you paid for. Now what happens is that they don't understand the context and they apply it wrongly. So in my videos, I'm always very cautious to tell you that please understand the context. If you have a question, please ask. Because to me, it's very important that you understand why I'm saying what I'm saying, that you really have a good understanding of uh, what I'm sharing with you because I don't want to help you blow your account. Okay, I feel responsible as an educator, right? Even though I'm not charging you any money, I just feel that it's my responsibility uh, to serve you at the highest level. So this was my first mentor's favorite answer. I remember when I first started learning from her, uh, I'll ask her, uh, so you know, you tell me to do this in X, uh, in this scenario. So in this scenario, do that. So I would bring up a chart to her and say, okay, uh, I see that the price is doing this and uh, based on your teaching, you say that sell here. So I would say, okay, I want to sell here. And she'll look at me and she'll say, no, 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 no. In this case, I wouldn't sell. And she'll proceed to explain to me why she won't sell. So her answer was always, it depends. And it used to frustrate the hell out of me because, you know, she was telling me, uh, she was giving me something like, if X, do Y. So she was giving me uh, some guidelines. So if you see X, do Y. If you see A, do B. 
So I was doing that. But when it comes to real actual trading and I saw X and I asked her whether she would do Y, she wouldn't do Y. And she would explain to me, now in this case, or in this scenario, right, because she was discretionary in nature, she was trading discretionarily and she was using experience uh, to trade. So I, I hated it. I really hated it. And, you know, I just couldn't understand. And it was only, you know, in my like 10 years of trading, then I come to realize that uh, she was really right. She couldn't give me a hard and fast answer because there's really no hard and fast answer when it comes to trading. Okay, it depends on experience. And experience is a function of time. You cannot, you cannot, uh, you know, force experience. You, you just need to trade. You need to stick it out. And that is why, you know, a lot of people feel at discretionary trading because uh, they don't understand the context and they don't have the experience uh, to apply these strategies. So if you want to avoid these issues, then you might want to opt for systematic trading. Okay, but as I mentioned earlier on, it's going to require some serious work. When I mean work, I mean a lot of work. Okay, you're going to have to test, you're going to tweak, and worse still, if you are hiring a programmer to do it for you, it's going to cost you money. So it's not for everyone. But if you are really serious and you want to avoid these issues, then this might be the solution for you. Okay? So earlier this week, we just had a dinner with uh, you know, our, our partners who developed our algo. And uh, you know, we are in a partnership with them and they told us that uh, this algo that they developed took four years to develop and refine. And even until today, it's still being refined. So four years of hard work. Can you just imagine the, count, the amount of hard work that goes into this every single day just to refine it, just to test, just tweak it? So what I want to do right now is I want to show you, what I want to do right now is I want to show you the, the algo. Okay, I want to show you the algo. So this is the algo. You can see that it looks very good. Okay, uh, applications are now closed, but you can see it's very good. And this algo has taken four years to build. Okay, four years of testing, four years of investing, four years of hard work. So you can see that it's not easy. It's not easy, but the rewards are there if you put in the effort. You can see that this is automated, meaning that it's fully automated. It's a systematic trading strategy. It's not discretionary. And that means that you know, you, you, if you were to invest in an algo like that, you don't have to worry about, you know, the trader getting emotional and, uh, you know, risking uh, like 10% per trade when he gets emotional. So you don't have that risk, but you do still have the risk of, you know, uh, let's say the algo stops performing and, you know, uh, you start losing money. Okay. But that's all that's, that's with any trading strategy. That's always going to be, uh, some form of risk. Okay. So this is why most traders fail. So now I, I want to go through the last part of today's video, which is step-by-step -step guide to get started. So step one would be to read and research uh, books. Okay. It can be books, reports, causes. What you want to focus on is you want to focus on things which have bad tested results, meaning that they are able to show you that historically it made money. Okay, but that's not enough. Just because something made money in the past doesn't mean that it is going to make money now. Okay, trading strategies stop working. So you need to be able to adapt and that is why in step number four, you need to constantly refine it. Now, step number two is come up with the variables of the trading system. Very simple. You need to extract the information from this, you know, books, reports, causes, anything, and find out what are the indicators or what are the things that they're looking for. Are they looking for price action to break, you know, the 20-day high? Are they looking for the ATR? Are they looking for a Bollinger Band to bounce or etc. Okay, again, I will give you an example of this uh, entire process in the next slide. I just want to run you through the, uh, the guide first. Then step number three is, of course, you want to test. You don't just want to take this and start running with a real money without any form of proof. Remember that, you know, systematic trading has to deal with uh, proving to yourself that uh, historically it made money and then uh, you, you, you start putting real money into the trading system. So you want to test uh, the trading system with the rules of the research. So in your research over here, uh, it should tell you, okay, uh, for example, I'm going to use the Donchen channel 20 days. Okay, so you want to use all these factors and put in your uh, the, the trading system. Then you want to backtest it or you want to, uh, if you can, hire a programmer to uh, create a code for you so that you can backtest faster. Okay, depending on, on your budget, if you can't do that, then what you can do is you can start uh, manually backtesting it first. Okay, again, I have other videos on how to backtest, okay, for free. So uh, just check that out. Go to our channel and type uh, backtest and uh, you should be able to find that video. Okay, step number four is you want to make tweaks according to your psychology, okay? Because trading, 
it's personal. Sometimes you do, certain people, they don't like to have sharp drawdown. Certain people, they are okay. Their risk tolerance is different. So you want to make it personalized. You want to make it such that uh, you're able to stick with the drawdown. Okay, there's no point in designing a trading strategy which uh, you cannot stick with because, for example, like the drawdown is too much and you cannot take it psychologically. Okay, and then you want to refine it because, uh, as I mentioned, uh, just because something works in the past doesn't mean it'll work again and you want to keep re re refining it so that it works as well as constantly improve the results as, as what we did for our algo. Okay. So here is a guide on how to do it. Okay, uh, this is just an example. Please uh, do not take this as a trading strategy. Okay, very important. Okay, this is the context of what I'm sharing. This is uh, the guide, but it's not the actual strategy. I'm just trying to illustrate. So let's say step number one, you read a book, uh, one of the famous books that uh, I read many, many, many years ago. It's called Trend Following by uh, Michael Correll. Okay, it's a very good book. It uh, gives you an introduction about how to uh, do trend following. Okay, let's say this book, okay? Uh, I'm just giving you an example, so please do not take it out of context. This is just an example, it's not true. Let's say this book tells you that, okay, uh, you can use this trading strategy that uh, has the Donchon channel and the average true range indicator. And based on this system, they say that uh, go long when price breaks above the upper Donchon channel and set stop loss at this. So this is here your uh, variables. Remember I said the come up with the variables. So these are the variables. Variable number one, variable number two, and step number three, we have the settings, okay? Test the trading system with the rules of the research. So the rules is uh, go long when uh, this happens and this ha and set your stop loss as this. So you want to backtest it and you want to see whether it works. Of course, in step number four, if uh, it doesn't work, then you need to tweak. You need to keep trying. You need to tweak until it works. And if it works, you have to ask yourself if it suits your psychology. Is the stop loss too big? You know, is um, the drawdown too wide? Uh, is there enough number of trades? You know, is, is, are there enough opportunities for you? Are you able to keep up? Uh, do you have the amount of equity to, you know, execute these trades? So these are the kind of questions that you need to ask yourself. Again, this is a lot of work and that's why uh, we actually have this algo for you. Okay, uh, applications are now closed, but we will reopen it soon enough. So uh, if you are curious about that, just make sure that you sign up for our mailing list. Okay, when you sign up for our free day trading guide, uh, we will have your email and when we reopen our algorithm, we will, uh, ex we will inform you so that uh, you can uh, come in and uh, benefit from our algo that uh, we've taken four years to develop and uh, tweak okay so just a recap today has been a very very long video so i talk about the two main types of trading you have the discretionary and the systematic so discretion Dictionary is where you use your experience. Okay, there's no fixed set of rules. Systematic is where you have a fixed set of rules and you know you, you, are, you are able to backtest it because uh, your rules are always fixed. So you can go back in time and uh, backtest using this set of rules what would have been the results you've gotten. Okay, I also talk about why most traders are discretionary trading because uh, they don't have the experience or they don't understand the context of a trading strategy or you know they watch a YouTube video like that and they apply it wrongly. Okay, so in this kind of cases, you might have a better chance of being successful with systematic trading where you can actually verify and uh, whether, you know, whether it's you or your, your son or your wife or whoever, the outcome is the same because it is black or white. Okay, if there's a trading setup, there is a trading setup. If there's no trading setup, there is no trading setup. Okay, there's nothing uh, subjective about it and that is why uh, it's perfect for you if you are still struggling as a trader, okay? Lastly, I went through the four steps, okay? What you want to do is you want to study uh, other people's materials. You want to study what is really working. Historically, you want to see that they have a bad tested result. Then what you want to do is you want to extract the uh, variables. For example, if they use Bollinger Band and ATR or they use, uh, you know, moving average, whatever it is, you want to extract it, put in the settings and do a back test. And once you get the results, you want to constantly tweak and find out what's working, what's not working and keep tweaking until you get a profitable systematic trading strategy. Okay, so I hope this video has been uh, helpful for you. Okay, this is one of uh, the unique videos that uh, we don't usually create. But today, I just wanted to take some time uh, to go through uh, how do you create something like this. Okay, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Okay, I'm very concerned about you applying uh, what uh, I teach or you know what any of our uh, our traders in our channel teach and you know you, you use it wrongly and you lose money. Okay, so if you have any questions, right, please just comment down below. Get it clarified. Okay, do not leave this video uh, without clarifying uh, your questions and then you start applying wrongly, you start losing money and you give up. Okay, that's really not what I want for you. Okay, we are really here to serve you. So make sure you hit the 
thumbs up button, right? I really appreciate it. You can hit the subscribe button as well, okay? If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.